You're old uh, acting mates, aren't you? Of course, you did this movie Water. Oh, years ago, I yeah, know, yeah. I, I did a documentary on that. I was over there making a film. You're all there. Oh, you? I remember that. Hi. Yeah. You remember that? Oh, I've forgotten that you were there too. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Billy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was a impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it was quite adventurous, wasn't it, that shoot? Yeah, yeah Billy used to drink then. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Remember who used to drink? Did I ever? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we were, in a, we were in a coach going along on a very dodgy road in St Lucia and Billy was in the front of me behind the driver and I could see Billy's head getting pissed off at the driver for no reason at all and suddenly he reached across and went, you bastard! And he pulled the driver out of the seat and the bus is going along. <laughs> I jumped on him, I released the driver you know, and then he started on me, but then he saw it was. He went, oh, sure, it's all right. <laughs> no, no, he, he was. Uh, the yeah, drinking days, eh? Oh, yeah, he was a tough drunk. We've all done that, haven't we? I've done that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had a couple. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. And why yeah. did you give up? Just like that? Just uh, no, what? I didn't give up. I slowed down. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I have a glass of wine with a meal. Yes. No. Yes, you once famously said that you actually wanted to get to the point, never want to get to the point where you couldn't have another... That's it. Yeah. I never wanted to, someone to say to me, you're an alcoholic, you've got to give up, you can't That's have right. a glass yeah. of red wine yeah. anymore. Yeah. I remember it happened to uh, uh, Baron Rothschild, who owned Mouton Rothschild. Yeah. You know, he owned the greatest red wine in the world and he couldn't drink it. Yeah. I thought that was sad. <laughs> it was very sad. Yeah. I, I drank his share. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing it, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's wonderful, actually, sitting here and, and listening to your talk, because, it, I mean, yours is, is the most impersonated voice in, in the business, isn't it? Oh, yeah, everyone Everybody does. I, I can do it. Can you do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't well, finished yet. I've not finished yet, I think. Not many people know that. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like this bloody moron. <laughs> My name is Michael Caine. <laughs> so it's, it's, he can't really, you know. You know where they've got me now? On, on a, on a. <laughs> they have me on the c birthday cards, you know. Yes, when you're always up. It's your birthday today. Not very people know that. <laughs> now they've got me, uh, you know, on the uh, satellite navigation. Yeah. You know where you're in the car. Where yeah. It's a, and it's, it's me going. Now nah, take the second turn. <laughs> And you'll wind up right in the shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's very got a sat nav with my, my, me giving instructions on it, I'll just watch out where you go. That's all I. Uh, uh, we, we looked at it. I said, uh, everyone said, have you been doing sat navs? I said, no, I don't do sat navs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, oh, do, yeah. I don't do birthday cards no. either. <laughs> but yeah, all I have to print is that this is an impersonation by Joe Snow. That's right. And, and you can't do that's anything. That's right, exactly. So, yeah. what about, about you, you impersonating other people? Because no. Ken Brown has said last week on this show, he said that you were. I saw that. He said, I, I can't impersonate Sean. That's what he said. Yeah, no, what he said to me, he said, he said to me, he said, can you impersonate Sean? So I said, yeah, he said, go on, do it. I mean, <laughs> and then he thought that was funny. <laughs> I didn't think it was funny. No, but it, it is funny, but it's not like Sean. It's not, like, it's, no. not like, it's not a bit like Sean. No, it? it's not, no, 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 no. But who can you impersonate? Uh, Dudley Moore. Oh, yeah. Hello, Pete, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened, Pete? That bloody Bridget Bardo came in the other day. Right through the window, she was in the bath. I said, oh, get out, you dirty cow. <laughs> <laughs> they did that one of sketch. You used to do a nice Chick Murray. Well, uh, Chick Murray, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, who are you? He would say. She, no, she said, he, he said, uh, the landlady's giving him a, a, a room. And he said, what sort of room is it? She said, have you got a, a good memory for faces? He said, yes, I have. She said, because there's no mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, now let's rem be reminded actually of the, <coughs> of the one of the first times you appeared on our show. We're, we're playing this game tonight. We're showing people what it was yeah, like. Yeah, it's the last show, isn't it? 1300 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're out of work then when we finish here, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to sign on. <laughs> I'll definitely sign on. I'll be down there. I'll tell you something. On the Monday last morning. time I signed on for the doll, Sean was two people in front of me. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> when was that? That was in the 60s? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was 24, he was 26. Yeah. yeah. Did you like Billy, though? I mean, I asked Billy this question about, you know, knowing that you are going to be somebody. Did you ever doubt that, that you would succeed at all? 
No, I never doubted at all. Uh, the other day, I was doing an interview the other day, and he said, you know, I made a film with Jude Law. He said, did you give him any advice? I said, I never give advice. He said, why not? I said, because every older actor who gave me advice, 99% of them told me to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, sorry, I'm not listening to any advice. And I said, the reason ad 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 advice is free is because it's... It's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> but I, didn't, I didn't give it up. I'm still here. But a lot of you certainly yeah. are, and, and, and getting better and better when you, when you see your screen. I try harder, yeah. You try harder? Yeah. But you, no, I mean, you, you, you actually, what you've done is, is you've devised, you've understood what film acting is about. Yes. Haven't you? And, yes. Uh, uh, to, to the extent that you're now one of the best film actors in, in the business. And I wondered, I mean, did it come to you, or did you actually decide that there's something in this? I've got to find there's a secret to it. Do you, is that the way you worked it out? Yeah, you mustn't... Uh, what I figured, I figured that a movie camera is right there, there, and it can see everything. So you have to behave. You mustn't act. You have to react, and you have to listen. You must listen to what the other person's saying, even though you know what he's going to say. You've rehearsed it 30 times, and you know what you're going to answer but when you when you see a really good movie actor you can see the reaction on his face to what the other man is saying he's not just sitting there waiting it's my cue in a minute what do i say yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like that it's 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 very difficult to explain it's you know what it is it's self-defeating in a funny way because it's terribly difficult to make it look like you're not doing anything. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, of course. You know, and they, so they wind up saying, I think he's playing himself. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be reminded, I'm going to yeah, go on, uh, show this, uh, this clip of ours that we have from 1974. Because, 1974? Uh, yeah. 33 yeah. years ago. I know, 33 Shit. years ago. Uh, well, you don't, look, you, don't, you don't look that different. No. Do you? Oh, <laughs> have a look. Yeah. Peter Sellers, who I believe you know, it's alleged that you know. I, I have met Peter you Sellers. You have met him twice. <laughs> <laughs> On the program and, and said that, um, apart from all else, being a maintenance sort of thing, that, that you were the biggest mine of useless information that you've ever come across. <laughs> I am. He said that you are. Yeah. He said that you collected it. First of all, I'd like to know why you collected it. You... I remember it. I remember sort of funny facts, and it, it brings up, like, my, my mind works in, in, a, in a sort of strange way. Is that the other day I was listening to the radio. And I suddenly thought of the fact that something I once read, which is quite surprising because you can't see it from the map is that there is nowhere in the British, in England, that is more than 52 miles from the sea. Really, there is nowhere. And I thought England was bigger than that. And the reason I thought of that is because someone on, on the radio had just said, there is about to be a shortage of salt. <laughs> and I thought, in a country which is nowhere is more than 52 miles from the sea, there's a shortage of salt. You know, and we also have droughts, because, and, and it rains all the time. And the other one was, <laughs> you, do, you notice it, it never stops raining here. And yet, if, if we have sunshine for three days, they declare a drought. And we've all got that. I'll tell you a story. What? What? I was shooting on one of those big tankers, you know, about half a mile long, with everybody going around on bicycles. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I said to the captain, it was on Get Carter, uh, uh, and I said to the captain, I thought, I said, how, how long would it take this boat to stop if there was an emergency? He said, 22 miles. <laughs> it could stop in 22 miles. <laughs> but I, I, always, I always collected uh, useless information. Did, you, you still? <laughs> yeah. You do? I know, um, Go on. The word, the golf, caddy. The word caddy in caddy, golf, yes. that comes from Mary Queen of Scots. She was in Scotland when they invented uh, 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 golf and yes. she was playing it. And she had the young officer cadets who would go and pick the ball up and bring it back, you know, sort of like staff. Yes. And the French for cadet is cadet, and that's where the word caddy comes from. Well, where do you get all this stuff from? I don't know. <laughs> She's also responsible for the word marmalade. Oh, go on. Mary Queen of Scots. Oh, Oh. Yeah, because she had tuberculosis, and every time she would, had a bit of a turn, they used to run, the, her servants, her maid servants, used to run and get a jar of this orange preserve, which was obviously very good for you, full of vitamin C and everything. And as they were running to get it, it was always, they were shouting in French, Mam est malade, Madame is ill. And the Scots are listening to that, and they kept saying, Mam est malade, and they kept coming back with this jar of stuff. 
So they called it Marmalade Malade, and it became Marmalade. Do you often have evenings where you sort of swap <laughs> conversations about your dear, did you know? I have evenings that? like this on my own. You do? <laughs> <laughs>